Oil prices are likely to end this trading week with gains, notching the second consecutive five-day period of profits for oil traders. Energy prices continue to rise amid concerns about the global supply shortages due to a possible European Union embargo on Russian oil imports. European Union countries will most likely begin to gradually reduce supplies over the next six months. Moreover, this ban will affect the entire supply process – transportation, insurance, as well as brokerage and financial services, thus boosting demand for oil. Thus, in the face of the current restrictions, Russia is revising the list of its trading partners and um, is shifting its focus to Asian countries. However, the epidemiological situation in the region is extremely unfavorable, which in turn strains uh, the supply of uh, commodities and poses an increasing threat to demand. By the way, OPEC members take into account this aspect while planning to increase oil production. Notably, the cartel carefully monitors the market situation and affects the price of oil by coordinating supply cuts or increases depending on changes in demand and world consumption. The United States is not part of the OPEC+. Plus. As it became known, a U.S. Senate committee passed a bill that could expose the organization of the petroleum exporting countries and its partners to lawsuits for collusion on boosting crude oil prices. According to the trading chart, brand crude oil futures came close to the local high of April, that's the area of 115. This led to a decrease in the volume of long positions, which in turn resulted in a slowdown in the upward cycle followed by a pullback. To extend gains, the quote needs to consolidate above the level of $115 per barrel on at least the 4-hour chart. Otherwise, it may go down. Meanwhile, the dollar-ruble pair continues to trade under pressure from the auctions of exporters who are forced to sell the currency. The US dollar keeps hitting local lows, thus further pushing the ruble into overbought territory. Nevertheless, the Russian currency will halt its record rally sooner or later, given that the market is overheated. The pair will most likely enter a pretty strong correction, and please note that at present it makes no sense to rely on a technical analysis. As for gold, the metal is unlikely to post gains uh, this week. Investors continue to sell the asset, considering the upcoming tightening cycles by the Fed. Today, traders are awaiting upbeat data on the US labor market, which will reinforce expectations of an aggressive rate hike. Earlier, gold prices corrected, hitting the level of $1,900 per three ounce, but then stopped and reversed. As a result, the precious metal fell to $1,865 again. Market sentiment is currently bearish. However, to continue its downtrend, the quote needs to fix below the level of $1,850. Until then, there is a likelihood that gold will fluctuate as part of a correction. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.